Hi there. I'm back again and uh, talking this time with uh, Second Harvest Community Food Bank Chief Operating Officer Tamara Crabb. Tamara is uh, participating in the Food Stamp Challenge uh, this week and uh, we're going to talk uh, a little bit about her experience and about what we're doing here at uh, Second Harvest. So, welcome Tamara. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what this week has been like. Um, you know, I think more than anything, it's been a very humbling experience. Um, you know, when you when you go to the store, I was just always used to buying whatever I wanted and, you know, spur of the moment and not much with lists or planning or anything like that. And uh, so it, it was quite a humbling experience um, to actually have to go and put back food because I was like, oh, I can't get that. And, you know, so it was, it was very humbling. And then also, um, you know, just to know that I can't eat whatever I want. I have to only eat what I bought from the store. There's no extras, there's no frills, and so more than anything it's been a very humbling experience. Now since you've come on, one of your primary projects has been a, a real conversion that's taken place out here at, at Harvest House. What, uh, what has this, this week, uh, what learnings have you taken from this week to help you kind of connect or better understand the folks uh, that we serve here at, at Harvest House? Well, I, I think that the, the biggest thing that I want to make sure of is ensuring variety at Harvest House. Um, because variety at Harvest House, you know, a lot of our clients um, are receiving some sort of benefits. And for those who aren't, um, you know, this may be their only resource for sort of filling up the pantry or making sure their family has food. And, um, you know, it, it's really sometimes it's not good enough just to say we have food here. It, it means a lot more to say that we have fresh produce, um, you know, and, and to sort of supplement those family meals. And, and so I really want to make sure that we have a good variety of, of, of product here inside Harvest House. You know, um, I'm going to ask a question. It's going to come across like your boss is asking you, but I really want <laughs> your, your honest opinion from this week, you know. You hear sometimes in the political dialogue that programs like food stamps are, are a hammock. You know, people say, well, our safety net is really a hammock. And, I, I know that you know that I, I wrote a post recently. This is not some really, you know, it's a trampoline that people come into these programs and they go back out on their feet. And during the time that they're in the programs, they're not suffering. But, but it, it's not, it's not a, um, you know, it's not a, a time period or a program that anybody would aspire to be in for a long period of time. How's your experience kind of helping you uh -huh. kind of understand that dialogue and that, that uh, political conversation? Well, I think the best way to describe it is um, this week I had um, Leadership St. Joseph. And when you go, you have, you know, they have all kinds of breakfast items in the morning and, you know, tons of cookies and donuts and just totally yum stuff. Um, and then when I went for lunch, I brought my own lunch. Um, I ate breakfast before I went and then brought my own lunch. And um, all, all of my friends there at Leadership, I, I got the box of lunch because I needed the water so I could have something to drink. Um, but uh, they, I was like going around, I was like, hey, does anybody want, you know, this food? And they're like, why can't you eat it? And I said, well, I'm doing the food stamp challenge. I can only eat what I have. And they're like, but it's free. Yeah. I was like, I understand that. I go, but, you know, most of the folks that are receiving benefits don't get to come to Leadership St. Joe and have sure. a free lunch. I said, and, you know, and, and I said, the best thing to explain the food stamp ch challenge is, I said, think about how many times you hear in the media where people say, well, if they're on food stamps, then they're covered. They've got it covered. I go, so take away Harvest House. Take away Meals on Wheels. Take away the Open Door Food Kitchen. And food stamps are not enough. You know, um, it, it's a supplement, and it's there to make sure that folks, you know, can, can have food. But it's not meeting dietary needs. It's not... It, it's just food, and we've got to do a lot more than just provide that. So, you know, so I, I told my friends at leadership, I was like, so next time you hear someone say that, you know, I said, think back to this moment when you told me that I was crazy for not taking that free free lunch. And I said, and that's why. The, those It takes all of those programs in order to, to get folks, um, you know, to jump off of that trampoline and onto the next phase of life. Right, right. You know, one of the programs that... Uh, You've done such a great job of launching here at Second Harvest is our Close the Gap program. And we've got two uh, amazing, um, 
outreach workers and our rolling people in SNAP or food stamp benefits across the region. Um, there's a lot of benefits both to uh, the clients that we serve and the community as a whole. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe where we're at and, and um, what we're, uh, how we're impacting uh, the community as a whole? Yeah, um, as of this morning, the number is ever changing, but as of this morning, we are at 240 applications um, in our 15 Missouri counties. Um, that's over a million dollars in economic activity um, to the state of Missouri um, over the course of a year. Um, it's, it's close to 300,000 meals that it's put on the table for those folks. Um, and more than anything, you know, those families... That, that we have seen, you know, I've heard dozens of stories of people holding back tears and giving our um, Deb and Christine, you know, hugs for, you know, thank you so much because they needed that assistance, you know, because whether their benefit is $16 a month or $200 a month or whatever the benefit is, that means that they have that much more money to make sure that they can have gas in the car to get to work, um, to make sure that um, the light bill is paid this month. You know, um, every little bit helps, and they are so grateful to know that, um, you know, and especially our folks that have dietary needs, that they can go to the store and they can have help purchasing the, the, the food that they need for, for their special needs. And, and it's it's been a huge impact, um, you know, emotionally um, for our staff and, and for the, the our members that have signed up. And then economically, it's a huge impact for our area that needs sure. it very much. Great. Well, thank you so much for being my partner this week. It's been great. That's the best part of, of Food Steam Challenge yeah. this month is having people that are going through it understand. And when I'm tired because I haven't you know, the same amount of pork intake, and people really understand that. I appreciate it. You know, we've got uh, Harvest House opening up here fairly soon, so we're going to get back to work and feed some Awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much.